Hi, and welcome to Chasing the Twist. Today, I want to do a quick video on this 12 volt fan. Today, we're talking about the Mitchell vehicle fan, six inch variety. We have a Ford E350 van, low roof, it's the passenger version that I've converted into a camper van and it has the rear AC unit. So it has uh, ductwork that goes up the side and along the ceiling all the way up the front and because of that I am reluctant to cut a hole in the ceiling for a ceiling fan. I could, I could get rid of that whole unit and um, line the whole thing with wood and maybe in the future I will but for now I didn't want to cut a hole in the ceiling. Also, we have been boondocking a lot more, uh, sleeping in parking lots or sleeping just wherever, and so we need to sleep with our rear doors closed more than we do at a campground. So we don't get a lot of air circulation back there and it gets hot and stuffy. So short of installing some sort of ceiling fan, I thought I would try a cheap and easy option and just get a 12 volt fan. That's where this comes in. So I bought this off of Amazon. Link will be in the description below. This is what the unit looks like. I bought the kind with a clip. It's the cigarette lighter power socket style. It has a speed controller with an on off switch. Um, and it works surprisingly well and that's why I'm doing the video on it. This thing wasn't expensive. It's really easy to install. We clip it onto the seat belt hanger in the rear uh, behind the bench seat and point it towards the back of the van. We leave the front windows you know, cracked open and this thing moves a lot of air even on its lowest setting and on its lowest setting it draws less than a watt from our goal zero generator. On its max setting it draws about 10 watts and it gets a bit noisy but it moves a lot of air and we hardly ever use it on its max setting. Um, we tend to use it somewhere in between its minimum and um, you know halfway. So it's drawing let's say 6 watts uh, throughout the night and we've even plugged it in just to our car not the generator we've done both and it makes a huge difference way in the back of the van so I'm in my garage and I'm working on my lighting the LED light bars that I have don't play well with the camera and it creates vertical uh, or horizontal I guess striping um, so I'm just using lights the fans are off it's a little bit hot but I have my fan and I have it hooked up to my ooh, portable jumper unit. But this is at its very lowest and it moves a surprising amount of air. I have a big dead cat on the microphone so you probably won't hear that. But it's not too loud. I'm holding it right up to the microphone. But even that moves a lot of air. If it's not too hot, this is sufficient to move air around the, the van. Turning it up a bit. That's maybe a quarter. Get kind of launched, went into a different gear. That's moving quite a bit of air. It's not too, not too loud. That's maybe half. And that's full. Is my beard blowing in the wind? So that moves a lot of air. Similar to when the car fan is on full blast. Um, and it only draws 10-ish watts. We sleep with our heads all the way at the back of the van. And this is able to push enough air back there to make us comfortable, to cool us down, but also to get rid of that stuffiness. I think there's only one thing that I would really prefer, 
and that is that see this speed controller is about I don't know 10 inches or so from the power plug and I would really rather that be either on the fan itself or 10 inches from the fan because this wire you have to route down to your generator and the generators is kind of under the bench seat and behind the water jug or whatever um, that's how it is for us at least this is up somewhere where you can see it and if the speed controller was here or I understand it would be more expensive to build it into the housing so even if you just move this to here um, it would be really easy to access so much so that I might actually end up doing that. I might splice, cut the cord, move the controller, solder it back together. Mitchell Vehicle Fan. Highly recommended. We got version HXT603E. Link will be in the description below. Not very expensive. Quite cheap actually. Or quite affordable. And easy to install. Moves a lot of air. Does not draw a lot of power. And makes uh, sleeping in the van a lot more comfortable. So thanks for watching. Let me know how um, I can help you. If you have any questions or tips or tricks, please share them in the comments below. I hope to share a few more videos about things that we're using in the van and I hope to do an update video on the van soon. So thanks for coming along on our adventure and thanks for watching. Oh, also, one other nitpick is this speed controller is kind of backwards. Off is at the top and max is toward the bottom. I don't know, it, it seems like it should be the opposite. So, highly recommended. A few little niggles that I would change, mostly around this uh, speed controller. Uh, it should be reversed where off is on the bottom and you dial it up. And um, it should be closer to the fan. But otherwise, for the money, it's a great product, I recommend it.